Good morning. It is Monday and it's 6 a.m. and I'm at the office already. You know what that means? It's gonna be a busy week. We have a lot going on today. I've got a bit of office time this morning and then this afternoon I'm going out to site to that massive Libby install that we did because things are still not quite working properly with the app. I've got to send the contract out for The Apprentice. It's been two weeks now since I offered him a job and I've still not sent his contract over. So I've got to do that today among a million other things. To be honest, my biggest, most pressing kind of thing today and this week is getting more work in bizarrely it's gone really quiet and it's a, it's a bit worrying it seems to be feast or famine in this industry sometimes you're mad busy from booked ahead for months and then suddenly poof, it just dries up and we've got a bit of a dry patch so my mission for today is to figure out what the guys are doing for the rest of this week as well we've got about half of the time booked up but like still half the time this week is pretty much empty we've got some bigger jobs lined up but they're for a little bit further down the line and we can't really move them forward because of approvals and materials and stuff working with harvey this week trying to train him on the phones we've been using an agency they've been good but i just feel like we need to be doing it ourselves so that's my mission for the next couple of weeks as well as just kind of train harvey do a bit of sales training train him on answering the phones and dealing with the calls i guess that's my thing now is like anytime something's not being done right rather than just jumping in and doing it myself i need to be like right how have I fallen short in terms of training? What do I need to do better to train the team so that they do it properly next time, you know? That they do it the way that I would want it done. There's uh, quite a few bits and pieces going on today. There's an interesting job happening at the end of the week, a commercial EV charging job. John and uh, Luke and Wayne are on an EICR this morning, which is a vacant one. So that's good. John's going to kind of train Luke uh, to do the paperwork side of things. And Wayne just needs to brush up on using a tester because he's been sort of an office bod for quite a while and he's got to do his 2391 soon he's confident with the principles of testing and inspection but it's more making sure he knows his way around a mega basically that we need to kind of get sorted ready for his exam dan is on the 18th edition uh, update course as well this week so he's getting that done so there's quite a lot of training happening here we are in front of my desk and i'm going to stop waffling and jump in and get some stuff done Okay, so I'm trying this new thing, which is a sort of journaling, but it's basically today, what do I need to do? And pick your like three highlight tasks, basically. So my most important, get Callum's contract. That's the new media uh, apprentice, get that sent out. Uh, finish Dan's dashboard, because he's just about back from holiday, and I kind of promised him that I'd get it done while he was away. And then book meetings with these staff members. Also, I need to order some racking for the unit, so I've put that on there. That's an easy, quick task, and I just need to get that done. If I get all of these done today, that'll be a win. And then what I'm gonna do underneath is I'm gonna write what I need to do tomorrow. And then if I struggle with any of these, I can move them to tomorrow, and then tomorrow I'll do the same. And it's just a kind of a productivity plan to try and help you to focus your time and energy on the most important tasks. We're racing back to the office now because I've got an uh, appointment in 40 minutes. <laughs> Tell them the truth. A massage. <laughs> Going for a massage. They always take the mick out of me. It's it's called physio. So it's how I keep my body in good shape. But I do have a chiropractor first. So they basically crack me, get all my bones back into place, and then massage to help it all settle in. So that's what's happening at ten past four. But uh, Nathan's just sent us a video through. So we're going to have a little watch of that on the way home. Well, it's the end of another day and how time flies. I just uh, couldn't see the day going today. It just disappeared. So we, I'm super glad we've got that big Libby install kind of buttoned up and it's looking pretty awesome. Um, and I just had my chiropractor and massage. So I'm feeling a little bit sore now, uh, but hopefully I'm all straightened up and good for another month tomorrow. There's another day where we have quite a bit going on. I'll update you on my to-do list that I did this morning tomorrow and see how far we got on it as well. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm in the van. I'm just about to head to the office. It's 10 to seven. I woke up really early this morning. I set my alarm for six because I went to bed a bit later than usual. And I thought I'll have a bit of a lie in and get up at six. <laughs> And of course I woke up at 10 to 5 because my body clock just gets me up before 5 now. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll let you decide. I felt quite awake so I just got up and did a massive workout. Today uh, there's a lot going on. Um, I'm in the office today, we've got admin team meeting at 9. 
got coaching with Nick this afternoon and in between I've got a lot of solar projects that I want to just try and push over the line there's so many that are like really close to going ahead but we just need to base it's it's basically us just need to sort out some more paperwork or order materials or check availability of stuff there's a lot of details in these solar jobs every single detail needs to be lined up before we can properly get a date booked in and uh, so that's sort of my mission for today amongst other things I'm gonna write down my goals for the day I'm gonna write down my goals for tomorrow as well and we'll review what I tried to do yesterday and see if I got it all done but anyway see you over in the office so you might notice a few changes around here look What's happened to the racking? So basically what's happened is this racking is going because we're moving it to the new storage unit that we've got and then we're gonna organize everything, everything laid out so that we know what we've got in stock and therefore we avoid buying stuff that we've already got hidden away in boxes somewhere. So that's um, the mission for John and Ruben and Lee and Luke this afternoon, but I've got to buy the extra racking and the guys went in there yesterday to try and do it, but the place didn't take Amex, typical. So Luke can, can put it on his Amex. Um, so I'm gonna have to pre phone them and see if I can order it today. Got to get all the Hilti labels out as well so that they've got stuff that they can label everything up with. Yeah, we've got to do like quantities, add it all up. Hilti on track system is a brilliant uh, system for keeping track of all this stuff, but we just need to get it all set up properly in the first place. Well, that's been an interesting morning. Time flies. If you don't want to see my task list, I'm not doing very well on it yet. Um, but we just had an uh, interesting admin team meeting. Come in. Hello. Delivery. Okay, we've got a CEF delivery. Let's see what's see what's in here, shall we? No idea what's in here. So. A couple of brass dimmer switches. How oh, interesting. Oh, an Envirovent profile fan. Uh, by the way, if you want a cool Union Light knife, get a link below. 25% off all Union Light products. What the heck has just happened? I just got a knock on the door and somebody said, oh, I've got a delivery for you. Two pallets. And I was like, what? And he said, yeah, I've got two pallets of tools for you. And I was like, I'm not expecting any tools. And then it suddenly dawned on me that yesterday I emailed Milwaukee because we're supposed to be doing something with them for pack out. And they emailed us like about six weeks ago offering us this massive list of stuff. And I was like, yeah, great. Just add a load more on it. <laughs> and then, um, you know, that'd be great. Thank you. And then I didn't hear anything back from them. And I thought that they'd just forgotten about us or whatever. So emailed yesterday just saying, so, oh, what's, you know, what's going on? Just wonder, wondering where you're at with it. And then look what's just arrived. So I came out to find this arriving. Two whole pallets of Milwaukee pack out. Oh, mad. So I'm going to do a little, little unboxing for you guys. Uh, Anyone wants a Milwaukee pack out? <laughs> no, they're sending you it. <laughs> no! Oh, they sent all that free of everything. Oh my god, they've just sent like they've sent so much stuff. Thanks, thanks Milwaukee. We need a we need a unit. We need another we need a bigger unit. It's just mad. Yeah, there's loads of stuff, but I think we're gonna have to <laughs> I need to take <laughs> some of my wrecking out of there. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my goodness. There you go, John. That is a base. I need more tools now to fit in it. Oh, really? Wowzers. How am I getting in there? Get in it. <laughs> Tom Rooms. <laughs> it's the true test. Oh, he actually does fit in it. <laughs> that is... Go on, close it. That is mad. <laughs> Can we nicely fit pack out into, into the racking? Let's have a look at John's new drawer in his van. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very nice. You can lock it, but it's yeah. made of wood, so that means that they lock it. It's there. Are they I'm thinking like fixed a bit. In no, you can adjust them into the different slots. So, so I'm probably going to make a. Take them out of one big. Yeah, I think I'm going to have like a sort of handy bits and bobs bit at the front. Because get a load of cable, cable and yeah. stuff at the back, the heavy stuff. And yeah, the other neat thing solid. is, is uh, that drawer comes out completely. So you just take these two screws out, and so you can still put long items in. Ah, okay, so, so you could and just take the drawer out. So if you had to move loads of long bits, nice. See if we can slot some pack outs in there and see Get how it works. Wire. Houston, we have a problem. The office has now been invaded by Milwaukee pack out. 
uh, slightly, slightly concerning. How on earth is anyone gonna get in here now? So I'm gonna try and stack it all up in this corner. And then at least we've got a kind of a semblance of order, but there's just so much stuff, it's crazy. So I think we've got like three of those, three of those, three of those, three of those. <laughs> I don't think I would ever um, imagined ever in my life that I'd be in a position to get sent all of this stuff for free and be like, oh, so annoying, I don't know where to put it all. First world problems, eh? <laughs> well, that was a day and a half, I tell you. What an eventful day. You know, even more stuff from Milwaukee just arrived. Uh, all the bits that I requested for the little um, wall mounting boards and stuff, they've all arrived as well. So we've got all that stuff. So that's gonna enable us to rack out our storage unit and maybe even rack out some of this office nicely, which is pretty cool. Uh, the guys were in here. Uh, we were brainstorming a little bit for work for next week because work is quiet. So we're thinking, okay, if work's quiet, let's make some videos. That's the advantage of our business is that if work's quiet, we can make videos and we still earn a bit of money out of the videos. So thanks to you guys for your support as well. It really helps. Um, but yeah, we've got a few ideas. And uh, let us know in the comments if there's any particular videos that you would love to see that we can maybe stage something, you know, a bit different, something sort of interesting, uh, exciting, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. But it's uh, five o'clock. Oh no, it's not, it's 20 past five. Time to go home and have some dinner. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Halfway through the week, it's quarter past six in the morning and I'm here at the office again. Still hasn't sunk in, all that Milwaukee stuff has arrived and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> but it's gonna be a good day today. We've got a site visit this morning, me and Wayne to do a solar survey, so looking forward to that. And then we've got quite a few other bits and pieces happening. We're finishing off the solar job from last week. So we're gonna head over to the site and see how John and Ruben are getting on there. Just give them a hand if needed. And then coming back to the office in the afternoon, I've got my cousin coming over, who I've not seen for ages. He's an electrician, and he's up in Wales and he does caravan park electrics. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing him. And then I've got some staff reviews, uh, team meetings, uh, with Erica, Wayne and John this afternoon. Quite a lot going on and the reason I'm early here in the office is because I'm still trying to plough through quotes that we've sent out, check with customers if they want to go ahead and also just get some more quotes out. I did three more last night. I was up till like 11 o'clock last night which is late for me just reviewing videos because we had three videos that Nathan's edited which I hadn't had chance to watch yet. Yeah if there's any tweaks needed he could finish off editing those today or if they're all good to go then he can export them in 4k so it's good like we're starting to build up a bank of videos again which I'm really happy about because we were getting a bit thin on the ground uh, for a while but we're building up a bank again and the idea is to always be like at least a month or six weeks ahead with the videos so that there's no pressure if we get like a week where a job gets cancelled and we can't film it or stuff else other stuff's going on that's more important then you know there's less pressure to film so we're supposed to be filming two more videos this week as well one is like a remedials work job with a load of fault finding and stuff and we're supposed to be also filming this easy charger install it's like a commercial charger install so that's going to be good however the struggle is we need to find a sponsor for it because the videos don't make any money unless we've got sponsors it costs us more to produce the video than we get back in ad revenue basically <laughs> um, so unless it's sponsored we lose money every time we make a video we sort of try and do a brainstorm of who could sponsor this video so that we can make it financially viable basically <laughs> to do it and obviously we end up giving people quite a lot of promotion when their products appear in the videos like it is a visit video about installing easy chargers so whether they sponsor it or not they're going to get a load of promotion out of us so if they can sponsor it then it helps us and it also means for them rather than just kind of mentioning the product we can actually put links in the description of the video so that people can go and buy it find out more and it gives them more traction off the back of the video. So that's how it all works. That's part of my struggle at the moment is trying to juggle all of that. It takes a lot of time dealing with the sponsors, etc. So I'm looking forward to having uh, Callum, our marketing assistant, joining and just helping to deal with some of that admin stuff in the background, dealing with the sponsors and getting things lined up. It is now, yeah, 20 past six. I'm going to finish my coffee, crack on with some more quotes, see if we can get a bit more work in for next week. And then, uh, I'll update you in a bit. 
Well, we're back at the um, solar job from last week and it's pretty much done. The guys are just here doing some finishing touches. But yeah, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the main house roof. Lovely uh, six, six and six, so 12 panel array up here with all the solar skirt on and everything. Looks really nice. We've got a window cleaner coming tomorrow. We'll get them to clean out the gutters as well. So that's done. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty sweet, I must say. And the garage, and inside the garage is the, the creme de la creme. But you guys will get to see that in a separate video that uh, where Luke and Ruben did the whole install and they shared all their little steps. It was really good. I'm in the car with my cousin Ollie. <laughs> I've not seen for like, how long has it been? Too long. It's been way too long. It's been like years. It's been at least years. At least years. So Ollie's also Sparky and um, he's got his own business up in North Wales, Anglesey, right? That's it. Yeah, doing caravan electrics and other stuff. Left, right. sorry, yeah. So I'm taking Ollie to the stores. He's just seen the uh, office and uh, met some of the team. He's down here because he's been basically being pampered by CEF for the last few days, going like to all these fancy races and driving cool cars around race tracks and stuff. Very nice cars. Um, so I don't know why, you know, he's not a big YouTuber like me. <laughs> why, why does he get to do all this cool stuff? <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so he's just come to say hi, which is nice. So we're going to go to the stores now and see what the guys have done because it was last week was a complete mess and then yesterday they went there and they sorted it all out. We got this new shelving. They've like built all the shelves, racked it all out. So I've not actually seen it myself yet. So I'm going to have a look at that. Show Ollie all the treasures that we've got in there, and then we're going to go for a beer. <laughs> do you want? You don't want an old um, an old Eaton board, do you? <laughs> Yeah, it's for ages. Has it got a breaker in it? The old one will have it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Open the door, see what's got in it. I bet it's not. <gasps> Main switch. Triple pole though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, right, are we going to brave this uh, rain? Let's go for it. See if we can uh, get this Consult closed your up. Goodbye, unit. See you again soon. Well, that was nice. It's good to hang out with Ollie. It's been a while. And it's nice to have a family member who's a sparky and also runs her own business, you know. It was quite good. We just bounced a few ideas off each other, shared our business struggles with each other. I've come to the conclusion that my business is broken. I just, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now to be honest because it just seems like every three or four months we have this same crisis where it's like, there's no money, we can only just pay the bills, only just pay everyone's wages and I'm only less now than I did when I was a one man band. It just doesn't make any sense, I'm just, getting very, very frustrated and tired of the whole thing. And wishing that I could just jack it all in and go and disappear, to be honest. Because, what is the point, you know? What is the flipping point? I just, I don't get, you know, <clears throat> it's not healthy, this. I can't carry on like this with this amount of stress, it's just, Like we've got 100 grand Amex bill to pay at the end of this month from all these Libbies that we've installed and somehow the money's not there to pay it. What should I do? It's like, oh man, I'm so torn. The selfish thing, and the thing that I kind of want to do is just jack it all in. It's also selfish, it's a pride thing. I was like, no, I can't, I can't do it. We need to keep going, we can need to make it work. But I'm like, am I just flogging a dead horse? Am I just deluding myself? It's one of those days today, I think. I just, way too much to do. Not nearly enough time. No matter how hard I work, it seems like I should be working twice as hard because I still don't get everything done that I need to do. And normally I'd just be like, oh great, well, just hire somebody else, but we can't afford to hire anyone else. So it's either I put more work on the existing team who are also snowed under or I pile it on myself and get more and more overwhelmed and tired and frustrated. Or I just jack it all in and go and live on an island in Tahiti. 
which I could probably do. That's the frustrating thing. It's like I could literally sack everyone, sell all the assets and the residual income, the passive income from the channel, from all the 600 videos that I've built up over the last four years, five years, whatever it is, I could live off that. Probably a couple of grand a month. I could live somewhere comfortably and not work another day in my life. Not that I would not work because I'm a worker. I would find something to do and I'd probably end up doing like consultancy or business coaching or something like that. It'd be ironic, just jack my business in and then go and coach other people how to plunge their own businesses into <laughs> to rack and ruin. <laughs> this is a very morbid conversation, isn't it? I'm sorry, I just felt like I needed to vent. It's like, it's probably not as bad as I'm imagining in my head, but right now I'm just tired. I've been up since five o'clock like every day for the last two weeks and I've been working late and I'm just a bit overwhelmed, I think, to be honest. I need a holiday again, but this is the trouble. It's like I work so hard and so intensely that I need a holiday like every month just to recover because I'm just like until I like burn out and crash and then I'm like, I need a holiday. Then I go on holiday, get all inspired, fired up again. Yeah, let's go. Come back three weeks later. I'm like, I'm dead. I need to maybe find a bit more balance in my life. Like I need to be a more steady person, I think, rather than being like, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe it's like ADHD or manic, manic depressive or something like that. I don't really get depressive actually. This is probably the most depressed I felt in quite a, quite a long time, but it's just more like, I don't know if it's depression or anxiety or... Uh, I just feel like a big heavy weight is on me at the moment. Anyway, it's not your problem. You're here to try and be entertained and educated, so sorry to share all that negativity with you. We will get through it, but let me know in the comments what I should do. <laughs> Give me some advice. <laughs> I've given you guys enough advice over the years. I'd appreciate some in return. <laughs> Right, so now that my morning rant is done, I am heading to a site visit at 7.35. Going to site visit in the centre of Cambridge for a really big, beautiful, posh house with a person who wants some solar and battery storage, and it's a little bit different. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it, but I can certainly talk about it. See you over there. Well, right interesting site visit, that. Um, so basically, the customer wants solar and battery on their garden office and solar and battery in the house and they just want basically enough to go kind of completely off grid as much as possible i'm going to get the drone up now i've got this fancy new drone that i won believe it or not from uh, solace because i did a post on instagram showing off one of the solace inverters that we fitted and then they sent me this which is really cool and i've not had a chance to use it yet so i'm going to get this up in the air now take some high res photos of the roof take some videos and stuff and then that'll just help us as we plan the job because the customer wants flexible solar panels on the garden office roof which I've never seen or heard about before we're going to look into that, that could be really interesting they're like a film that sticks onto the roof rather than solid solar panels so that should be cool and then also on the main roof he wants in roof rather than on roof it's a conservation area so he's got to get planning permission and stuff it's a bit of a complicated one but yeah it should be uh, an interesting job if we do win it so I'm gonna get this bad boy up. Let's have a little look, so. Start it up. <sighs> well, that was fun. What a cool drone. This is like way more powerful than my previous one. It's it's amazing. It's like 4K and the battery lasts super long. And so I got loads of footage, loads of photos, sort of tried to cover every aspect so that you know I can look back and just see like what the condition of the roof is like. We can get some proper dimensions from the client and then like overlay those against the actual pictures of the roof so that we can see exactly what we what kind of space we've got to work with. All right, well, I'm back at the office and I've just been playing through a few oh, things, having a little catch up meeting with Dan. Is Lee that's, that's is here, like having a meeting with Nathan, planning the job for tomorrow, because they're filming an easy install, which hopefully will be an easy one. But um, I'm going to see my mum now, because she's popped in to visit from Wales. Yeah. So I'm gonna 
finish early and go home and see my mother. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. How are you today? It's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. I'm still here, still ploughing on and feeling quite positive this morning. Sorry about yesterday. It was a bit of a crisis day, but today I'm feeling much better. I have uh, refocused, spent a bit of time kind of <laughs> sorting my head out. Um, and I'm here. And I, it's a, I'm at the office. It's only quarter to seven it's not like 5 45 a.m like usual i've actually spent a bit of time just kind of focusing on my mental and spiritual needs this morning which i should do more often so that was good and today we've got uh, an easy charger installed just over the road from the office so lee and luke are going to be doing that John is no work today, so he's going to be sorting out his van, getting a bit organised for next week, and then probably helping the guys. Ruben doesn't work on Fridays, so he's not in. Wayne's off today because he's moving house. Dan is back in the office for his first proper day in the office since his holiday today. My highlight today is the fact that I actually have a whole day with no actual... Well, I've got a Hilti meeting at, at lunchtime, but apart from that, I've got no real meetings booked in so i should be able to crack on and get a lot of stuff done and there's like things that have been building up that I, i've been needing to do like stupid things like hilti need us to do a report every month about the posts that we've done for them and what the engagement statistics are on the various videos that we've done and stuff like that and usually you know that's our social media marketing team that do it but we don't have one at the moment so i've been doing it or not been doing it as the case may be so I've got to do that today and I've got a load more quotes that I need to send out and customers just to follow up on and things to try and get a bit more work in yesterday I actually did a bit bit of do door knocking yesterday I actually went around and, and just knocked on some doors of like some of our previous clients just to see how they're doing just sometimes you know uh, it's just checking in with people Sometimes you remind them that you exist and then they're like, oh, oh, actually, I've got this job that needs doing. So a little tip for you guys, if you're running your own business, just if you're sh getting a little bit short of work, I mean, you should do this anyway, even if you're not short of work, to be honest, just check in regularly with your best clients because you just keep, it keeps you fresh in their minds and then when they need something, they're gonna, gonna give you a call, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do a little bit more. I do have a site visit this afternoon with Dan as well at four o'clock to quote for a, a battery storage system for an existing solar setup. So that'll be good because I'm trying to train him to do more and more of the, these solar visits so that I don't have to be doing those. That's it really. I'm going to just plow on through a load of stuff. I've set you guys up on this little tripod thing, which is quite cool. And so you're right above my desk now. So this is the, the desk set up and then this is the office but uh, yeah gonna just plow on with some office stuff in fact let's see that's quite a good angle that actually that's not bad at all let's get stuck in so BW just um, delivered some stuff for today's job we've got some uh, joiners for the cable tray and we've got some Big old couplers, check that out. So that is a 50 mil coupler. And this is a 50 mil male bush. This is what we call a Zeb. Some, uh, some end caps for the, for the um, uni strut as well. Also, this is something that I've never seen before. 16 mil flexi tails. Anyway, this is what happens. I get distracted. Gonna do some office work now, okay? So I'm going to see how the guys are getting on. They're doing this um, this solar, uh, no, not a solar job. They're doing this EV charging job literally just across the way. Have a little peek. So it's for our neighbors here. Uh, relief chiropractic. Looks like they got cable going eh? in. So it's a uh, big old five core, 10 mil steel armored. Yo, yo. 
All right, check this out. No, this is where we. This is where the two videos combine. Oh, it's good that it just goes over the top of that uh, that ridge. I was wondering if you'd have to set over it a little bit or something. So basically, this job, the guy's got a cable run all the way along, all the way along to there, across, and then drop off the edge of the roof. Distribution boards down there, and then the two easy chargers going over there. And uh, Max is here filming it for the, the main channel vid. So that's good. So I'm here with the guys and we're just going to do a little talk through of all the technical specs of this and we've got Wayne and Harvey here as well so that from an office point of view they know like selling points for the customers because there's a reason why we've selected Easy here rather than Zappies for example. Do you have any idea why we're doing these here and not Zappies for example? People can pay customers to pay to charge their cards. Great, yeah. That is one of the key features. So the feature specifically is called OCPP capable, I think. So basically OCPP stands for Open Charge Point Protocol. And it's a communications protocol where this charger can talk to a back office payment system or a other software system and can send its data to that system to say, uh, charge, don't charge, um, all of that kind of stuff. So these have that built into them. There are loads of the different systems out there. Customer can choose which one they want or we can actually manage it for them. And that will enable people to go on a smartphone app, say the Monta app, and go, I want to charge my car, pay with Apple Pay, plug the car in and it will start charging. These are designed so that you can connect three phase or single phase to them. These are the commercial versions. You can mount them on the wall. It's just this with a blank cover. You can register them all in the app already. And then later, all you've got to do is buy one of these like four or 500 quid or whatever and just click it in. A block of flats with 20 parking spaces underneath. They want to provision every space, but the tenants don't want a charging, a working charging point yet because they've not got an EV. You can put one of these in every space and it'll be cheaper. You've got all the cabling and infrastructure in place. And then later, if the customer wants, they can buy this, get an electrician to click it in and liven it up and jobs are good and basically. Well, that's good. It's nice to see them uh, doing well and enjoying themselves and making a good video. Um, this one is, they got a bit of extra help on it really because John was supposed to be not here, but he's not got any work other work today so he's just jumping on to help them which is good because it's, it's gonna rain and uh, well, it's already been a little bit rainy and it means that because they're doing videos I can actually focus on stuff that they can't do which I can do like trying to get more work in so it pains me a little bit because I'd love to just be there with them you know I love being on the tools I love making videos but now I'm the boss of a big well not big big but big for me company and I've got big responsibilities now which means I can't just be playing around on the tools making videos all the time unfortunately <laughs> if I was still a one-man band then I probably could but can't do that anymore too many people's mortgages are reliant on me so I've got to sit in front of a computer all day but you know what I think I might make a coffee <clears throat> right so um, the guys have been in and had lunch and um, cracking on, lashing out a few ideas. We're talking about potentially doing new builds or not, whether it's a good idea. Max has got his knickknacks. <laughs> and I'm going to give him this mic now, the old fluffer, so that he can do some nice sounds on the videos. Because the guys are going to do some shorts now in a minute. So, welcome back to another episode of another Milwaukee delivery. It just doesn't stop. So, we just got a knock on the door again, wasn't expecting anything. What have we got now? Some new, brand new Milwaukee hard hats, which look pretty cool to go with our um, our ear ear defenders and our um, our head torch thing, things that they get us. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, seven hard hats, which matches the number of head torches and ear defenders that we've got. And then, oh yes, more pack out. I love. Oh, these ones are really good as well. Go add those to the pile. They literally don't really want anything back from us in return other than just for stuff to appear naturally on the channel. Every so often. Wow, is that like a beer holder? Like a little beer shell? So that goes like that. Well, it's the end of the day. Uh, I need to, to hoover up in here. 
it's pretty disgusting so I'm gonna do that quickly uh, wash the dishes <laughs> I'm like a skivvy around here. Everyone just disappears and leaves me to do the cleaning up. Bunch of scarves. It's not even, it's not even 4.30 yet. They've all gone off to the pub. <laughs> um, I've got a site visit to do actually in like 10 minutes from now, I'm gonna be late. So, oh, I hate leaving the office messy though. I'm just gonna have to leave the office messy and come in super early on Monday and clean it up. I just remember something, I can't leave the office in a mess like this, you know why? There's another electrician coming in here tomorrow to do the EICR on this site and of course they're bound to know who we are and if I leave this office in a state it's just going to look so bad on our company so I am going to quickly clean up and then go to my site visit so that the electrician whoever they are who comes in here is not thinking that we're a bunch of pigs. And that is the end of this week. It's been a long one, I think. There's been a lot of emotional roller coasters. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, as always, for your support. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week.